She loves me. Yeah, yeah, she does. I've got 11 questions for you on Beatles lyrics. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show, and thanks for checking out the show on YouTube, which is brand new for 2020. If you're watching the video, you can see my schnazzy new polo from Express. That's right, I make enough money to buy clearance shirts at Express for men. Doing pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for uh, telling a friend about the show and leaving iTunes reviews. Those are the big ways that this show grows with iTunes reviews. Helps us get up on different charts and things and more people notice it and want to check it out. One of the number one things people do is they search the word trivia or trivia podcast or trivia questions and uh, hopefully they click on my face because the show does come out every single day so you get a lot of chances to listen to something that you're into in the world of trivia. Uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today's episode is all about Beatles lyrics. It should be a ton of fun. We're going to give you the lyrics. You tell me what song they're from. I used this a couple weeks ago at my live trivia nights, and people were singing along and having a blast. So I think you will, too, on today's show. I have uh, been listening to some new podcasts that I want to share with you. One of them is called the Self-Publishing Podcast, and this is really good stuff. If you ever thought about coming out with a book or a pamphlet or an ebook, or fiction or nonfiction, or in my case, a trivia book, which I am working on, I'd like to announce that right now. Working on a trivia book to be published in 2020, and uh, because I've never done that before, I was like, I need some resources. I need to learn the best ways to do this the best practices, etc. So I uh, searched self-publishing and came out with this, uh, this very cool podcast, the self-publishing podcast. If you have any interest in uh, writing a book or publishing a book, check it out. Even if you don't and you just like literature at all, it's really fun to listen to these interviews with writers who are blowing up in the world of indie publishing. And it's something that like I was aware of but didn't realize how easy it was to actually get into if you are looking to do something like that and how many people are actually making a really great living doing it. So uh, check that out, the self-publishing podcast. I think it is a really cool resource and very entertaining for people who like literature. Uh, And yeah, more news on my book as the year goes on. Uh, I don't have a title or a cover or anything yet, but I do have what I want the book to look like and how it's formatted and what it will be. And I will tell you that there will be tons and tons of trivia questions that you have not heard on this show before. So I'll be writing a bunch of new trivia for the book, and then there'll be a whole other component uh, where on one page you have something and on the other page you have trivia. So hopefully it'll be a little bit something for everybody who likes this show and uh, should be a ton of fun by the end of 2020. All right, we're going to jump into today's episode on Beatles lyrics. It is uh, a nice, beautiful Saturday, if you're listening to this on the day it came out. And uh, hopefully you're having a great weekend and you're ready to sing along with the Beatles. Here we go. All right, I'll give you the lyrics. You tell me what Beatles song they're from. It's as simple as that. Here's question number one. Somebody to love, somebody new, someone to love, someone like you. What Beatles song had those lyrics? Question number one. Someone to love, somebody new, someone to love, someone like you. Question number one. Question number two, I am he as you are he as you are me, and we are all together. See how they run like pigs from a gun. See how they fly. Number two, I am he as you are he as you are me, and we are all together. See how they run like pigs from a gun. See how they fly. Number two. Question number three, and when I touch you, I feel happy inside. It's such a feeling that my love, I can't hide. I can't hide. I can't hide. Number three, when I touch you, I feel happy inside. It's such a feeling that my love, I can't hide. I can't hide. I can't hide. Number four, take these sunken eyes and learn to see. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to be free. Number four, what Beatles song had those lyrics? Number four. 
Question number five, when I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the slide where I stop and I turn and I go for a ride till I get to the bottom and I see you again. Number five, when I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the slide. Number five. Number six, pools of sorrow, waves of joy are drifting through my open mind, possessing and caressing me. Number six. Number seven, living is easy with eyes closed, misunderstanding all you see. It's getting hard to be someone, but it all works out. It doesn't matter much to me. What Beatles song had those lyrics? Number seven, number seven. Question number eight, you were made to go out and get her. Number eight, you were made to go out and get her. What's that Beatles song? Number eight. Number nine, dear sir or madam, will you read my book? It took me years to write, will you take a look? Number nine, dear sir or madam, will you read my book? It took me years to write, will you take a look? Number 10, two of these left to go, Father Mackenzie writing the words of a sermon that no one will hear. Father Mackenzie writing the words of a sermon that no one will hear. Number 10. And the bonus question for two points, who was the oldest member of the Beatles and who was the youngest? Signify the answers by saying name oldest and name youngest. We're looking for the oldest and youngest member of the Beatles, number 11. Those are all your questions for the Beatles quiz today. I hope you had fun playing along. We'll be right back with a sound effect and the answers. Here we go with the answers to Beatles lyrics. Let's see how you did on today's quiz. Someone to love, somebody new, someone to love, someone like you was from Love Me Do. That was the Beatles song in question, Love Me Do. Number two, I am here, I am he as you are he as you are me was I am the walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Number two, I am the walrus. Number three, when I touch you, I feel happy inside. That was from I Want to Hold Your Hand, a very risque song for its day, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Number four, take these sunken eyes and learn to see. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Blackbird, number four. Number five, when I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the slide. Helter Skelter. Number five, Helter Skelter. Number six, pools of sorrow, waves of joy are drifting through my open mind, possessing and caressing me. That was Across the Universe, which is also a pretty cool movie musical from 10 years ago or so, Across the Universe. Number seven, living is easy with eyes closed, misunderstanding all you see. Strawberry fields forever. That was that one, strawberry fields. Number eight, you were made to go out and get her. Hey, Jude. Hey, Jude. Number nine, dear sir or madam, will you read my book? That goes perfect with the self-publishing podcast that I plugged at the beginning of this show. It is Paperback Writer. Paperback Writer. Number 10, Father Mackenzie writing the sermon that no one will hear would be Eleanor Rigby. She keeps her face in a jar by the door, and this guy is a uh, unheard priest, Father Mackenzie. Number 10. And the bonus, the oldest member of the Beatles was Ringo Starr. He's still kicking, looking pretty good for his age, Ringo Starr. And the youngest member was George Harrison. Those are your questions. I hope you learned something about the Beatles today or you had fun playing along with the lyric-related questions. We've done some Beatles stuff on the show before. So if you want to listen to it, go back and search on Google Trivia with Buds Beatles, and you will find something. Also, I've been doing Beatles bingo at the start of the year here in 2020 around Southern California. So we play Beatles songs, and you mark them off on your bingo card when you hear the song that's on your card. When you get five in a row, you get like a discounted beer or a koozie or uh, something cool from the trunk of my car. So check out all the bingo events as well as trivia events at TriviaWithBuds.com. It's time for the question of the day brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. What magazine started publishing Spy vs. Spy in 1961? What magazine was that? Tweet me your answer at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Mr. October Reggie Jackson. And your trivia team name of the day is Mike Tyson Chicken. 
Mike Tyson, chicken. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers. Thank you.